Hi guys, I'm coming to you guys today to do a vlog and I'm going to be actually getting dressed as I'm vlogging so I hope you guys don't mind and I hope I'm not scaring nobody away but um, this video is so well overdue and it's just perfect timing because of my situation um, about my pictures being taken and the reason why I had to just leave YouTube for a while and just recuperate and stay focused on my weight loss journey I just had to take a step back and another reason I saw that I have close to 30 percent of my subscribers are in their 20s and teens so I'm like oh yeah I need to do this video and of course this can be for my older divas as well but I'm kinda talking to my younger girls um, at the moment so anyway I'm going to start doing my makeup and we're going to start talking. So, this video is going to be about the um, overconfident big girls or the big sexy big girls. And when I was in my late teens, early 20s, you could not tell me nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing about being a big sexy girl like if you say girl don't wear that who are you or um you know you're fat oh big girls are disgusting or all this and that i'm like baby bad we sexy and i'm gonna show you we're sexy so there was really nothing you can tell me that will hurt my feelings about me being a big girl at all whatsoever. So it's so clear that I cannot vlog and do my makeup for some reason. I kept losing what I was saying. So hopefully I'll be able to do this video. Um, now I talked about in the beginning um, why I'm making this video what this video is going to be about now for me when I was younger like I'm saying in my late teens early 20s there was nothing you can tell me about being big and being sexy of course people would tell me girl you fat you, you're sloppy big girls are sloppy you're ugly you're you shouldn't be wearing that all of that stuff you would think would hurt my spirits but it didn't. I just, it didn't hurt me at all. You know what I'm saying? It didn't hurt my feelings because it was nothing you can tell me that would make me feel that I was not a sexy big girl. And um, when I was younger, I was, I didn't know how to dress for my body. So I was that one who wore, you know, unflattering clothes because my mom didn't know how to shop for me and of course I couldn't shop for myself so when I got older and started to dress myself and being able to find my own fashion sense or whatever I went from the total opposite of what I used to wear and I noticed that you know tons of guys would try to talk to me or I would get tons of attention or people looking and this and that and when when you in that mind frame or when you're young like that you think that any attention is good attention whether it's negative bad good whatever it's still attention so um to dress like that at a well I won't say young I'm saying like 17, 18, like a young teen, to dress sexy, you know, you go out to the clubs or you go out to parties and dudes try to talk to you or, you know, you get the wrong type of attention. But then you sit and wonder, why is he sending me penis shots or why is he asking me to sleep 
why is he asking me to sleep with him? They assume that because you dress sexy that you are easy. And you don't want people to think that about you because I was not that type of big girl who slept around. But surprisingly, I was propositioned tons of times. Tons of times. Like, I was easy. And, and I would assume that I was probably easy too. You know what I'm saying? Or probably not just easy, but it won't hurt to try it. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't go to no Liberian looking girl if I was a guy and try to talk to her or try to sleep with her when the girl right next to her is in some stripper clothes. I'm probably more likely to get up with this stripper looking clothes girl. But to be honest, that Liberian chick, trust and believe, is probably the freakiest. <laughs> whole, nother, whole nother subject. But, you know, my whole point of that is the things that you wear and the things that you do kind of make people have, and you should not care what people think, but you don't want them to think negative things of you when there's something that you can do to make it right. Like, this doesn't just go with dressing sexy this goes with tons of things like for young girls who are you know doing those booty shaking videos here on youtube we've seen it a lot or those young girls who takes provocative pictures which was definitely me i don't deny that and you want to show and scream that you are sexy and we see it we know it we can tell in your aura you know what i'm saying when you walk past, we see it. You don't have to show it. And um, just be careful. Be careful with the things that you do. Definitely, you're young and you think, well, you don't think towards the future. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was younger, I wasn't thinking that me taking sexy pictures or me um, dressing sexy will have an effect on me now in my adult years and it does it really does because you share stuff with people say like in my situation pictures and that person may have shared my pictures with someone else now it's out of my hands and out of his hands and now it's in whoever hands it wants to be now I'm not saying go dress in a church outfit or you know what I'm saying don't go out um, being big and being proud because I'm still a very proud big girl and I'm still feel sexy you know what I'm saying but I don't have to put all my boobs out or all my booty out to show that I'm sexy. I just don't. And there are, are tons of young girls that are my age and younger who may feel that that is the way to get attention or that's the way to prove that you are sexy and you don't have to do that. You really don't. There are people on, to me there are three type of big girls there's tons of them but three main types there's the ones over here that are dressed in baggy clothes because they don't want to show none of their body big t-shirts um, baggy jeans stuff like that then you have the ones over here that dress extremely sexy um, short booty shorts low 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 cut shirts um, just too sexy and that was me you know what I'm saying then you have the ones directly in the middle and they still dress cute and sexy but they don't have to show everything they don't have to put their body on display to be like this outfit looks good you know what I'm saying and I'm slowly as I'm getting older moving towards that category and of course it's a learning experience so for some people who may be watching this video and be like girl whatever I'm gonna still wear this because it makes me feel sexy you may not understand it now but for every action there is going to be a reaction and sometimes those reactions are not going to be good ones and you don't want to present yourself as someone being easy 
because for a lot a lot of times you you probably are not easy but people assume it by the way you dress and I know you can't judge a book by its cover but you can get a pretty good idea of what the book is going to be about you know what I'm saying so this does not only apply to you um, dressing sexy this applies to so many aspects of being a super big confident um, or too confident big girl because there's nothing wrong with being super confident but there is something wrong with being too confident because you feel like you can put everything out there and just do all kind of crazy stuff to show that you are a big confident girl you can be proud of all the curves that God gave you but just be mindful of the way you dress and the type of attention that you're going to get from dressing a certain way and know that that attention that you may be getting from the person when you dress too sexy is not probably the type of attention you want he probably just wants you for one thing and one thing only when you're young you're gonna do stuff that when you older you're gonna be like what the heck I'm doing so just be mindful of the things that you do because you are gonna get older and you are gonna get smarter and you are gonna be like what was I doing so before you even do it just think towards the future just kind of picture yourself in your 30s or you know in your 40s and is this something appropriate for you to be doing you know what I'm saying or for something appropriate to be wearing um so I think I've said just about everything I wanted to say I hope you guys got something from this video because I was totally all over the place but I just needed to really come talk to my young girls that watch me and let them know be confident but not too confident. Be sexy but not too sexy. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.